Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm here with part 3 of the double star twist bracelet. So yeah. In the last video I taught you how to place the rest of the bands and loop the starburst and these little V-ish bands I guess. So that's where we left off. So now we are going to loop the center neon green. So what you're going to do is you're going to notice, if you listen to what I said, and place the, and did the right and then left, you'll notice that the right is underneath, then you're going to want to pick up the underneath band. So you're going to want to pick up the right band, then pull it out to itself. Do the same thing over here, but pick up the left band and pull it out to itself. Then you're going to go back into the right pin. Grab the bottom green, neon green, and pull it up to itself. Do the same thing on the left side. So it should make this a uh, little X thing. And you're just going to do that all the way up the loop. So go right, left. Unless um, you put the left... Um, underneath then you go left right but I place the right underneath so yeah you just keep doing this up the loom at the top here. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find the bottom green band because of a starburst. But, yeah, that's what it should be like. Now you're going to go back down to the bottom and you're just going to loop your side bands. So just pull it out, go in, pull it out, same thing over here, pull it out, go in all of these and pull it out. Here you can't see. Okay, I pulled it out guys. <sighs> pull my camera out. Okay, now you can see I did it. So now you're going to loop the uh, side single chain. So all the way up the loom. Make sure you're grabbing the bottom, the very bottom white band. Picking it up. And once you get up here, you're just going to pull everything in, and in, and there should be another white band down here, but don't do anything with that band. So now, go back down to the bottom, and you're going to do the left side, just looping a normal single chain. Same as you did on the right, just do it on the left. There we 
Okay, so once you did that, you're going to notice there's this, if you, this bottom white band here. You're going to pick it up on both sides. Just put it on your hook. Pick it up on both sides. Just like that. Then you're going to take a C clip. And this is kind of a high tension bracelet. So I'm going to have you C clip this. Make sure the C clip is uh, very secure. I had something break last night because um, the C clip wasn't good and secure and stuff. So make sure it's nice and secure. Just like that. Okay. And I suggest pulling this off like one by one. Pull the cap band off and then just pull all these off one by one just because it kind of has a little bit of tension. Not that much, just a little bit. And you, I'm just going to do this off camera, guys. You just pull it off peg by peg. Do it softly too. Don't like, don't yank it. One of your bands could snap, and that would be very bad. might take a minute or two just to pull it off. But I think this is a really cool design. I was pretty proud of myself when I pulled it off the loom. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. When you pull it off the loom, it'll look something like this. You just want to stretch it out like a lot and flatten it maybe. Pull it sideways and stretch it. And then make sure your C clip is in a good spot. You don't want it to fall apart after all your hard work. But yeah. That's the double star twist bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, this is kind of like a little keychain type thing, because, I mean, if you had more looms than me, then you could do it. But I only have two looms, so this is as long as I can make it. I mean, it's not that bad. If you like uh, adding an extension, you could just, it's about half my wrist just add an extension to it but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the double star twist bracelet oh man that's backwards and I will see you in my next tutorial bye